New footage shows this is how Ukrainian FPV drones drop bombs takes out Russian soldiers in combat Avdivka. As Russian forces press forward with an attempt to capture the town of Avdivka in eastern Ukraine, Ukrainian troops share drone footage aerial footage that gives an indication of staggering losses enemy. A Ukrainian military drone unit near Stepov, a village just north of Avdivka, where some of the most intense battles have taken place, shot the video this month. It's an apocalyptic scene. In two separate clips, the bodies of about 150 soldiers most wearing Russian uniforms lie scattered along tree lines where they sought cover. The village itself has been reduced to rubble, rows of trees that used to separate farm fields are burned and disfigured as a result of the battle. The fields are pocked by artillery shells and grenades dropped from drones, but the drone unit said it's possible that some of the dead were Russian. The footage was provided by Ukraine's BUAR unit of the 110th Mechanized Brigade, involved in the fighting in the area. The unit said that the footage was shot on late December approaches New Year's Eve. Over two separate tree lines between Stepov and nearby railroad tracks and that many of the bodies had been left there for weeks, with comparing the video with maps and other drone footage of the same area shot two days later by the 47th Mechanized Brigade. Russian forces launched an offensive in Avdivka in October, though they have made some incremental gains. Western analysts say the push has resulted in thousands of casualties, and Russia launched Europe's biggest war since World War II, invading Ukraine in February 2022 then. During the fighting that took place in Ukraine on both sides there were many casualties, especially for the Russians. Around 40,000 troops died on the battlefield, especially in the Bakhmut and Avdivka regions. Meanwhile, Ukraine has taken out a brand new Yastreb AV counter-battery radar system, according to Kyiv, just hours after Moscow said it had deployed one of the artillery-seeking systems in the war-torn country. On Tuesday, Russia's defense ministry said Moscow's troops were using the new Russian Yastreb AV counter-battery radar in Ukraine, designed to detect artillery systems like the US provided HIMARS as well as howitzers and mortars commonly used by Kyiv's fighters. Bad. The system increases the efficiency of artillery fire and survivability on the battlefield, the Kremlin said. It is designed to track an opponent's missiles back to its launcher, finding the precise location of the artillery system before passing on this information to its own artillery. It is the most modern Russian radar system with a phased array antenna for reconnaissance of artillery firing positions. Russian state news agency RIA Novosti reported on Tuesday. It works alongside other counter-battery systems Russia has deployed to the battlefield in Ukraine, such as the prized Zupark set of systems. But within just a few hours, Kyiv's special forces said Ukraine had hit a Yastreb AV system at an unspecified location in the south of the country with one of its dozens of HIMARS, the very artillery system high up on the Yastreb Avenue's list to detect. The system was destroyed, Ukraine said, posting a brief clip appearing to show a Ukrainian reconnaissance drone tracking the Yastreb AV in the Ukrainian countryside before the moment of impact. It is not clear how many Yastreb AV systems are in use in Ukraine, but Kyiv's military said in August it had destroyed one Yastreb AV. Both Moscow and Kyiv are grappling to use their counter-battery radar systems more effectively than the other, searching for and taking out the artillery systems threatening their troops. With the grueling, attritional war closing in fast on the two-year mark, hunting down Russia's counter-battery radar systems will only be more important for Ukraine. Experts previously suggested said that against a larger military such as Russia's, Ukraine's targeting of radar systems could have a disproportionate impact on Russian operations. In recent months, Ukraine has publicized and amplified numerous reports of successful strikes on Russian radar systems. 
Ukrainian officials have lauded the reported destruction of $10 million Zupark counter-battery radar systems, and the UK government said in mid-July 2023 that only a handful of the Zuparks Russia sent over the border into Ukraine remain in use. Ukrainian media reports suggest each of the new Yastreb AV systems could cost up to $250 million, which would be significantly more expensive than systems like the Zupark. On the other hand, Ukraine has launched a fresh salvo of missile strikes on the Russian border city of Belgorod as war in the sky between Kyiv and Vladimir Putin's forces intensifies. The attacks are the latest in hundreds of drone and missile strikes traded by Ukraine in recent days, after Moscow fired one of its largest aerial assaults of the near two-year war late in December. On Tuesday, Russian forces also targeted the capital of Kyiv and the eastern city of Kharkiv. At least five people were killed and more than 120 injured, according to the Interior Ministry. The Russian Defense Ministry claimed Ukraine fired 12 missiles in the early hours of Wednesday morning at Belgorod Oblast, a small region bordering northeast Ukraine, and they said that all missiles had been destroyed. Further south, Mikhail Razvazhayev, the Kremlin-appointed head of Sevastopol, a Crimean port city that is home to Vladimir Putin's prized Black Sea fleet, said at least one missile was shot down overnight. While as Kyiv embarks on a new year of attritional warfare, speculation is swirling about future supplies of the US-made ATACMS that Ukraine has used so dramatically against Russian forces in the east and south of the country. Kyiv debuted its ATACMS missiles in blitz attacks on Russian military bases in the cities of Berdyansk and Luhansk in mid-October 2023, the M39 ATACMS rockets took out a slew of Moscow's helicopters, with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky commenting the missiles had proven themselves.